Hi, I'm Matt. I'm Caleb. And we're Boosted Broncos. We're going to show you today about dropping a 3.5 EcoBoost with a 6R80 uh, 4x4 transmission into an early Bronco. We're developing a kit including motor mounts, uh, power steering, pump bracket to take the place of an AC compressor. We're also developing uh, a separate mount that doesn't to where you can maintain the AC compressor. Um, among other things, we're, we're developing the electronics uh, wiring harness package for this, as well as the calibration, the exhaust, and the air induction tubing. So we've got uh, some cool stuff to show you. We're just going to take a moment to drop this in place, and then we'll give you a close-up of what we're doing. So give us a minute. So we're going to give you a close-up. Go ahead and grab the camera. So the space is a little bit tight in here, but what you can see is a, a stock type mount that, that uses the single hole bolt, preserves the the stock V8 mounts that existed on the trans or excuse me on the frame. Pretty tough stuff. And then we'll grab some other side info. As you can see, the space is pretty tight, but we've got a good package going on here that preserves the ability to use the AC compressor with that separate kit. And then you can see the, the standard 6R80 and 10R80 cross member that um, advanced adapter supplies. We have to make some slight modifications to that to elongate the attachment hole. But all together, this pretty tight package, you've got a uh, little bit of space there to, to work with, but it's it's almost like this 3.5 GTDI was made for it. So, All right, so you can see an installation that's almost complete here in this 74 Bronco with the power steering installed in the AC compressor place, same motor mounts, um, same, same transfer case bracketry and, and attachment in the back. This one has the, the uh, two-wheel drive F-150 uh, steering box, which we're gonna swap out for a different style as we finish this one. So this one's gonna stay in the family. Um, we're developing both uh, both this one here and, and the one that you've just seen is, is, uh, is a bit of a display. So as we shop it around, that people can see what it's all about. So the frame will have full visibility as far as the fuel system, the, the exhaust system, the air intake, and, and all the other goodies that we're putting together. So the intent here is to give people a viable alternative to Coyote. Coyote is a pretty nice package itself. But uh, anyone that's driven this 3.5 EcoBoost knows how smooth and, and powerful it is. And we dial these up to real close to 500 horsepower if you're using premium fuel. Um, if you're not using premium fuel, then we're, we're pushing you know, upwards of 400. So um, these are so smooth, it's just an amazing package. Uh, we've got one already under our belt, aside from these two that we're showing that we like to drive around to local car shows and, and such, and it's just, it's just a ball. Um, you have all the power and, and that, and still have a little bit of space to, to work around things. So a real nice package. Uh, look for, look for more videos. We're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be showing more of these goodies as we install the exhaust system and the air uh, induction system and the intercooler and, and all the other goodies, um, as well as the, the fuel system. 
This is all uh, intended to be a package that fits with the, with the stock control system with some small tweaks to, to turn off the anti-theft and, and other things that would uh, make it to where you can't run it uh, without a body control module and some other modifications. So uh, one other thing I'll mention is we're, we're developing a, a fuel tank using a similar package to some of the ones that you see on the market, but this one will enable dropping in a, an F-150 or a 15 to 17 model year expedition fuel delivery module. Um, so just really makes for a nice package. Don't have to have an external fuel pump. Uh, something we're really proud of. So this is a father and son show and, and we're trying to do it upright, making this a viable, uh, viable product for these early Broncos.